Hey everyone, this is Ricky Grove, Managing Editor at Renderosity.com, and this is News of the Week for May 22nd through the 29th, 2021. Our weekly news video covers Renderosity.com news along with hand-picked digital arts news from Renderosity magazine, computer graphics, digital art, and much more. And in Renderosity.com news, Poser Sketch Render Tutorial. Probably the most underused feature of Poser is the sketch style render setting. Although it's been around since Poser 4th, the majority of users haven't experimented much with it. Check this short tutorial which dives into a great way to render your scenes in Poser. And our Gallery of the Week is the Daz Studio Gallery. With 230,000 uploads to this gallery, it's one of the largest and most popular galleries at Renderosity. Fantasy, pinups, people, and science fiction are the top themes in the Daz Studio Gallery. Check out the video which features 10 works from the Daz Studio Gallery. And Prime Dollar Days, $4, $5, $6, 4th week. Prime members may enjoy select products at $4, $5, or $6 through 11.59 p.m. Central Friday, May 28th. Now, Prime membership can bring you big discounts at Renderosity, and you can check this link for more details. And in Renderosity Magazine news, Comics Review, here comes Calico Issue 2. R. Grove reviews the second issue of a hard-hitting comic that tells the story of an animal rights vigilante. It's a more nuanced story than you might expect, and it will divide readers on the moral issue of vigilanteism. Sigma Comics publishes this hard-hitting comic, which we heartily recommend. Preview, Body Tracker, Adobe Character Animator. Adobe has a beta version of the most requested feature for Character Animator, Full Body Tracking. Using any standard webcam, track your body, arm, and leg movements to bring your characters to life in new and exciting ways in Adobe's Character Animator. And finally, The Reality of Digital Art, an introduction by M.D. McCallum. Getting started as a digital artist can be confusing because there are so many apps and so many types of digital art. Our veteran writer, M.D., provides a guide to finding your path as a digital artist. And like always, he adds a healthy dose of humor to get you started. And that's our news this week. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.